Hey guys, it's Vikramaditya and you are watching Night for Chess. Friends, today we are having a very beautiful combination involving the back rank which was arose in the game E. Adams vs. C. Torrey in New Orleans 1920. And perhaps this is the most beautiful combination played by any player um, which involves a back rank weakness. It is based on this back rank weakness. So let's go for it. Okay, it is white to play. As you can see here that white queen is under attack by the bishop and but uh, white has too much pressure over this e8 square this rook so based on this uh, uh, pressure on e8 and the back rank pressure white played queen g4 so in order to deflect this queen as we can see here that queen takes queen is not possible for black because rook takes e8 rook takes e8 and Rook takes e8 is checkmate. So after queen g4, black cannot take the queen uh, as white has checkmate after queen g4. So after queen g4, black played queen b5. So black has to support this uh, uh, rook on e8. So after queen b4, again white has a deflection move queen c4. And again, black cannot take the queen with his queen, as again the rook takes e8, followed by another rook on e8 is checkmate. And also, after rook takes queen, rook takes e8, and this is checkmate as well. So after queen c4, black played queen d7. So c4, black played queen d7. And now, a very, very humiliating move queen c7 so again this is mind-boggling as you can see that black cannot take queen with the rook because of rook takes e8 and again this is uh, same rook takes e8 checkmate and also black cannot take with the queen because rook takes e8 followed by rook takes e8 is checkmate so after queen c7 black played queen b5 and here white realized that black cannot take the queen so this is not the threat because of rook takes e8 uh, checkmate so after queen uh, b5 white played a4 again attacking the queen so what is the point here that white wants black queen into the a4 square. The point is that after queen takes a4, white is going to play rook e4. So why is this uh, uh, good move a4? Because if white tries queen b7, deflection of the queen from this diagonal, then uh, this is actually a mistake because of queen takes e2 now. And obviously you can see that after rook takes e2, black has rook c1 check. And after rook e1, rook e1, knight e1, rook e1. And white had the back rank weakness as well, so black is, uh, has checkmate. So after a4, uh, this is not possible because uh, uh, as we can see here that white has uh, rook takes e2. And now if black plays uh, rook takes e7, then rook takes e2 is e8 is checkmate. And after rook e2, if black plays rook takes e2, then also uh, queen takes e8 will lead to checkmate. So after a4, queen takes a4, and now white has rook e4. This is again fantastic move attacking the queen. And now, as we can see that black cannot take the rook because of queen takes c8 let's see rook takes uh, rook takes uh, e4 queen takes c8 and if queen e8 then queen e8 rook e8 rook e8 is checkmate and also if queen takes e4 then white has rook takes e4 and the same variation happens so after queen b5 uh, white played queen b7 now so this is the point. Now deflection of the queen from this square 
and after this move black resigned this is uh, perhaps the most beautifully played uh, by any player uh, which involves the background weakness so guys i hope you like this video you hope you like this uh, uh, combination involving the back rank and share to your friends subscribe the channel for more video lessons and these kind of uh, interesting puzzles thanks for watching see you in the next video stay blessed stay happy bye bye